Hello and what's up peeps, this is the Geek Artist back again with another video in the art book review and flip through series. And once again we're gonna be doing something different, something for the nerds and basically for every artist out there. Especially if you're a beginner or a student or even if you're highly experienced because this is some really good stuff that will be very helpful and may give you whole new perspectives. So I'll be reviewing and talking about Star Wars, Art of Ralph McQuarrie and tell you exactly why it's an excellent source for you to learn from. You guys can skip the intro if you want and jump straight into the review and page flip through chapter from the timestamp. Now for those of you who don't know, I'm big into collecting art books, be it video game art books or movie pre-production books or, or just books on painting. I like to collect them, study them, learn from them, get new ideas and draw inspiration. A lot of the knowledge I share in my tutorials are things I have learned from these books. So I'm gonna turn this into a series where I'll be reviewing and talking about some of the absolute best art books out there that you should most definitely get your hands on if you wanna give your artistic journey a super boost. Alright, so Star Wars fans. Here I am holding the iconic Star Wars Art of Ralph McQuarrie in the palm of my hand. It's a collectible volume that showcases the legendary concept illustrator's most memorable works and it's so small. I always wanted to own it. At first I was a little disappointed when I received the package from Amazon because honestly I did not expect it to be this tiny. It was completely my fault that I didn't look at the details and descriptions before ordering. But with time, this has grown on me so much. It's tiny and it's beautiful. Almost cute, I mean just look at it. So this is not exactly an educational book. Unlike the other art books I am reviewing in this series, it's more like an art gallery with little to no text or writings. A collector's edition, basically a collection of some of the best works of the legendary Ralph McQuarrie who was a visual pioneer for modern science fiction. He is praised for his iconic works for sci-fi classics like the original Star Wars trilogy, Battlestar Galactica, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, E.T. and even Star Trek. He also won an Oscar for visual effects back in the 80s. So through the course of this video, I'll be flipping through the pages to give you a glimpse of the magnificent concept arts featured here. And if you're a fan of the Star Wars movies, new or old, this should definitely be a part of your collection. If you want to buy this book, the purchase link is in the description down below. So as I flip through the pages, you can clearly see the phenomenal visuals that gave birth to this massive franchise. I'm literally holding history in the palm of my hands. This chronicles designs that still find their way into present-day contents like The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett and I'm pretty sure the other shows and movies that Lucasfilms and Disney have planned as well. This brings me to the topic of Mandalorian because it's so awesome and such a great entry point for new potential fans of the Star Wars series. It's amazing how they designed the show so that it requires little to no prior knowledge about the previous Star Wars movies and whatnot. It's amazing on its own. Even my girlfriend watched the two seasons of Mandalorian back to back and fell in love with it, even though she never watched any of the Star Wars movies or animated shows before. She thoroughly enjoyed it and understood it completely. Sure, maybe she missed a bunch of easter eggs and references here and there, but it did not hamper her overall experience in any way. And this is true for countless others who are just beginning to get into the Star Wars franchise. Personally, I enjoyed the Book of Boba Fett as well, and how it sorta of became Mandalorian Season 3 towards the end. Absolutely loved the Lone Ranger space western vibes. What about you guys? Was the book of Boba Fett a yay or a nay? Let me know in the comments, alright? Well, I am really very excited for all the shows that are planned for release over the next few years. Coming back to the art, note that these were all made back in the 70s and 80s, way before the digital medium existed. So it's all pencil on paper, oil on canvas. 
no undo button, no filters or adjustment layers or masks, pure intuitive artistry, brilliant craftsmanship, world building and designs. While I keep flipping through the pages, let me tell you some cool facts that you may or may not know. McQuarrie began his career illustrating teeth and equipments for a dentistry firm, followed by some illustration works for the Apollo space program. I guess that's where he got his excellent industrial and mechanical design skills from. But young George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars, noticed his works and approached him to discuss his plans for some space fantasy film he was writing, Star Wars. Lucas was desperately in need for visual reference material to support his pitch to the film studios. So in the mid 70s, Lucas commissioned McQuarrie to illustrate several scenes from the script of the Star Wars film that he was writing and wanted to pitch to the big studios. Little did either of them know that they were beginning to create history together and laying the foundation for what would, in a matter of few decades, become a multi-billion dollar franchise. McQuarrie's epic concept art helped Lucas win approval from 20th Century Fox. Armed to the teeth with vivid illustrations, Lucas was able to convince the Fox executives to take a gamble and fund the Star Wars project. Despite the skepticism, some of the most iconic scenes, locations and characters that have been seen recurring in many of the Star Wars movies through the decades have been designed by McQuarrie. The iconic Tatooine, Mos Eisley, the Death Star, to name a few. The characters he designed include the likes of Darth Vader, Chewbacca, R2-D2, C-3PO and many many more. And that's just a small part of McQuarrie's legacy and achievements. He is unfortunately no longer with us. He passed away almost a decade ago in 2012. But his brilliant work still continue to inspire us. Well, they inspire me at least. There is just so much to learn just by observing these magnificent illustrations. Design language, flow, compositions, colors, you name it. Also some excellent paintings to study from as well. Well, it's a pretty thick book with lots of pages and lots of paintings. I'll keep flipping through them and let you guys enjoy these glorious works of art. By now you must really want this in your collection. So if you want to buy it, the purchase link is in the description down below. I'll be reviewing and talking about more amazing art books in the coming days. So if you like the video, hit the like button, share, leave a comment if you have any suggestions. And finally, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications of my upcoming videos. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. So that's all for now. See you on the next one. Peace.